Hey, 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 everyone, Tankenstein here, and in this video, I've got your first gameplay for the A1H. This is a currently rank 4 battle rating 6.3 American Strike Aircraft. That is the top level reward for the current season, Smell of Victory of Battle Pass. And this is a very unique vehicle, well, because it, one, has a toilet bomb that has one, believe it or not, one kilogram or so of explosive force in there, so you can actually kill enemies with this. And also, and for the purpose of this video, more importantly, eight 7.62 millimeter M134 miniguns with four thousand rounds per minute of fire. So between all of these miniguns alone, that's... 32,000 rounds per minute plus the cannons mind you what we do have the cannons this is another 3,000 rounds per minute so that's 35,000 rounds per minute between all the guns on this vehicle absolutely absurd and I am so stoked to use this so I actually used this in the dev server before when it was incomplete so for example the mini guns didn't have any stats on them it didn't tell you what the fire rate was but now it does so this is the completed version of the plane and oh my gosh I am stoked to use this so I'm going to be playing this in air battles and I'll try to do some CAS with it as well so you guys can see exactly what this can do in a number of different situations but that said let's get into it so as we get next to these ju 288 c's pretty important thing uh to note about this aircraft is that i cannot change the ammunition belts on the miniguns so i'm not really sure what they have in them but i'd imagine that uh it's pretty bad <laughs> you know another thing is that this more or less has to be a head-on plane because the maneuverability acceleration overall speed is not good uh, and as a result, either you're doing what I'm doing here and kind of shooting at people from the side, trying to get a nice fire on them. Nice. I'll take it. I'll take it. Ooh, hoo, hoo. yes. Got an engine fire. Now, these LMGs are not doing much damage. That's pretty apparent right now. But um, this is more or less just going to be a head-on aircraft. So it looks like I got an enemy back here somewhere. Do not want to keep chasing this guy down. I'll just let him die. Perfect. Now, just to note, I mean, this is not, like, it's not the most difficult aircraft to get a kill with. I'm not going to say it is. However, it is not the easiest. Uh, you know, again, because those LMGs are very, very, these might be the best LMGs in game, mind you. But, they're still LMGs. It's not like they're 50 cals or anything. Ooh, that was ugly. That was really ugly. Don't don't look at that, guys. You guys saw nothing. So I'm going to have to head on with this BF-109. I'm going to try to sink down here. Now, this aircraft does have chaff. It does have regular countermeasures. Plus, it does have air brakes, which is kind of, uh, you know, a given. So, okay, he's falling into the trap here. Got the kill. Sweet. <laughs> and I got the toilet bomb. I want to see. Hopefully, I can get near a, uh, a base and, and actually launch this. I don't really have too much hope, but as you can see, there's not really too many uh, aircraft for me to have to kill or be killed by. So this toilet bomb does have 1.1 kilograms of explosive force in it. So I might be able to actually get to it and drop the toilet bomb. And let's see. So, I mean, bear in mind that this toilet bomb uh, I think the explosive force comes from uh, the the poo inside of it. Depending on what the sailors had the night before. So, one, two, three. Oh my god! Wow, what are the chances that was going to happen? Holy cow! Okay, I guess we're not going to see what the toilet bomb looks like right now. But I'll try to play one more match of ARB after this. Um, hopefully we can get an idea oh ho, 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 ho. yes yes woo woo doggy <laughs> yeah boy <laughs> okay this is gonna be dangerous i'm gonna probably die like this but oh yes this is what it's meant for guys this is how you do this is how you do you miss all your shots on video <laughs> I still set him on fire. Oh, he's he's still alive. So plenty of ammunition left. So I'm just gonna try to spray over here, see if I can get any hits. Probably not. 
Nothing. Whatever. Nice. I'm still up too. Not for long though. I'll take it. Three kills. A real nasty crit. I mean, he's probably going to make it back to base knowing the JU-288. But man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I am happy. That was not too bad. So anyways, let's get into one more match of Air RB. Then I'm going to pro probably try to do Ground RB. I want to see what the uh, what the base killing capability of this thing is. And also drop that toilet bomb to see if that does anything. I'm sure it will do something very negligible. But hey, let's have a good time. So at this point of the gameplay, we are in the destroy the bases, see what we could do sort of uh, gameplay. And as you can see, this thing is absolutely loaded to the gills with bombs. So it's got some big boy bombs. It's got some, okay, this is the, the loadout. It's got one 250 pound bomb. The reason why it only has one 250 instead of two is because it literally could not fit the other uh, 250 pound bomb, so I had to put uh, the seven times FFAR Mighty Mouse rockets on the other pylon opposite of it. Uh, then we also have eight mod, uh, Mark 77 Mod 2 incendiary bombs. We have one toilet bomb. We have six 500 pound bombs in the center and also two blue one incendiary. So this thing is loaded to the kills. Again, I think this is the heaviest loadout possible on this aircraft. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I need to actually select the bombs I want to drop because, of course, if I just kind of go all haywire, it's not going to be optimal. So I'll try to launch the smaller ones here. Try to launch four of them. Not really sure exactly how many it'll take, but it'll be interesting to see. Hopefully these crappy AA don't kill me. One, two, three, four. Okay. That actually might be sufficient at this BR. So I'll turn around, go for this. Yeah, that's going to be more than sufficient. Nice. Perfect. So this plane, just based on what I'm seeing, three actually might have uh, been able to do the trick. But I'll just still launch another four because I've got so damn many of these things. But just based on what I'm seeing, I might be able to destroy a bunch of bases here. Which is, I mean, absurd. Uh, you know, it's really nice that we only have, like, what, seven players on each team so that makes it a little bit easier it won't be as easy to intercept so i'll switch over to the got the 250 i got the blue one bombs so i'll try to launch those see if those can destroy a base and then bear in mind i still have six 500 pound bombs right underneath this guy's coming out wow okay i might actually have an enemy to kill that I'm going to go for him now. Is he anywhere close to the base? Not really. Perfect. So I might actually be able to get myself a kill here. Now bear in mind, I only have my my uh, 20 millimeter cannons. Got the kill. That was a little ugly, but I got my kill. Man, this is this is impressive. So if you're in one of those matches where there are not many enemy players, this this might be a really really good plane. So I'm gonna launch the two big boy incendiary bombs. And then I'm going to launch a special weapon on that. I want to see if the toilet bomb does anything to that final base. And it looks like I'll actually be able to test that. Because everybody on the enemy team is so far away from me that what does it matter, right? <laughs> like, they're not going to get me. Unless I got someone above or behind me, which hope not. But we have the blue ones here. One, two. Pull up. Okay, that didn't do as much damage as I, as I expected, but I can probably drop uh, a few 500-pound bombs on that. Uh, so, let's drop to the special weapon. So, this is the toilet bomb. Fun story behind that, there was a malfunctioning or damaged toilet on board the carrier that, uh, you know, on board a carrier during the Vietnam War, and so they rigged it up to... It did damage! <laughs> I destroyed a water tower! Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. So, let's see. I got one 250-pound bomb. Got five. So, in order to do this, I actually want to pull up a little bit because last thing you want is to die by your own bomb. So, I want to get, like, to 1,000 meters. Probably going to drop, like, four of these on it. Maybe five. Yeah, I'll try four for now. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four. Pull up. Do not want to be hit by that shockwave. 
Not bad, not bad. Not ideal, but not terrible. So at worst, I can take out probably three and a half bases with this. So not bad at all. Um, you know, I'm going to drop the other two 500 pound bombs on this. And I should be able to drop my 250 and then some rockets on that. And we should be set. Oh, wow. I forgot. I got to pull up. Whoops. Maybe I need my second, my uh, other 250 pound bomb and the rockets on this. Whoops. So I miscalculated a little bit in so far as how much I would actually need. Uh, but, you know, I mean, I got basically three and a half, about three and a quarter bases killed um, in totality here. So not too bad. 2,001 points. That is pretty damn nasty. I cannot complain about that. So let's see what we could do. I mean, I'm probably just going to land, but uh, definitely going to air RB if I don't continue. But as you could see... There was a strike by one of those crappy little AA that I mentioned before. It hit me, so I'm not really sure how much uh, time I have left in this, but hopefully I can continue the flight. Okay, I got this TA-152 up here. He's going to try a head-on on me, maybe. Yes, he is. Got a hit. Perfect. Did some damage. Get down. Go do a strafing run on that base, because that's all I got left. I'm about dead. So I really don't give a damn. Hopefully he does not repair fully. And then there's that HE-177 over there, I believe. So I'm about within range. Three, two, one. Let's fire. Got some hits. Got some hits. Got a kill. Woo! <laughs> there we go. Ooh, that's ugly. Got a kill on the AA. Perfect, 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 perfect. Anyways, not too shabby-dabby. I'm going to try to, you know, go into some CAS now, but not too bad. Two kills, almost a ton of uh, explosive force dropped, as well as a toilet bomb. So that said, let's get into uh, some CAS with this and see how it performs, but I've got no doubt it'll do pretty damn well. So one of the absolute worst things when it comes to this aircraft, or not this aircraft, but rather presets and i'm so glad that they added custom loadouts is that they'd give you something like three two thousand pound bombs and that'd be it and you couldn't add anything more but as you can see i've got way more than three two thousand pound bombs i got that a bunch of uh, ffar some muddy mouse some zoonies in here as well this thing is loaded for bear and meanwhile it costs the same exact amount of spawn points as three two thousand pound bombs so i am not all too upset with this so let's go down here see what we could do i'm gonna try to bomb this guy here uh might i not need to no that's not a rough and try guy okay let's go up hopefully those two thousand pound bombs take care of them not sure they will they've got a long time Ooh, that was ugly my Poor CAS capabilities aside, this thing is really capable for close air support. Just don't do what I'm doing because I'm stalling. Ooh, Lord, this is not good. Not good, but no biggie. No one's around me. That was that was totally planned. 100%. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. So, let's go see if I can actually hit this guy now. Yeah! Woo! That was ugly as all get out. But, got myself a kill. So, like I said, I mean, two, or this thing can carry three 2,000 pound bombs. Uh, you know, a bunch of FFAR Mighty Mouse, a bunch of Zoonies. It's got countermeasures. I mean, in theory, if you don't really mind the really, really bad um, speed and, and some other mediocre things as well. I'm going to use some Zoonies on this. Oh doesn't matter maybe maybe i can come back around yeah buddy Woo! two kills anyways if you don't really mind the mediocre speed you could theoretically up tier this uh pretty decently so that said let me know what you guys think in the comments below i am interested to see your opinions on this vehicle it is a really really fun vehicle and as always you know 
please, of course, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you guys think. But either way, thanks again. I'll see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone.